The Indonesian government has named former Gojek CEO and co-founder Nadim Makarim as the Minister of Education and Culture. The appointment of the 35 years old announced by President Joko Widodo marks the country's youngest Minister of Education on record. In a press release, Gojek said that the news was communicated in an email to all staff today. Nadim as uh, youngest minister is considered to have ability to get close with millennials, thus can be the voice of millennials as well. To get know more about the former CEO of Gojek, let's see the next graphic. This is uh, Nadim Makarim's fact sheet. The first one is um, Nadim was born in Singapore July 4, uh, 1984. Um, basically is younger than me and career um, as the uh, managing director of Zalora from 2011 to 2012 and he is uh, or he was the CEO of Gojek from 2010 to 2019 approximated net worth um, 10 oh no a hundred million US dollar and bachelor uh, degree international relation in Brown University master degree business administration Harvard University and elected as Minister of Education in the period of 2019 to 2024. Nadim found, uh, founded Gojek in 2010 as a two-wheeler hailing service. The startup has since expanded to include a range of services including mobile payments, food delivery and online shopping. The startup has amazed more than 2 million driver partners and 400,000 merchants on its platform. Gojek was valued at almost 10 billion US dollar in its um, most recent uh, financing round. The company, which operates in Singapore, Vietnam, and Thailand, clocked gross transactions worth 9 billion US dollar last year. But, however, said on Monday, he has stepped down from his role at the ride hailing startup to join Indonesia President Joko Widodo's cabinet. President Joko Widodo himself asked Nadim to be the Minister of Education and Culture. Of course, there are several considerations. We can see it through the next graphic. This is a list of considerations in the eyes of Joko Widodo uh, in terms of you know cho choosing uh, Nadim Makarim as the minister. The first one is have a futuristic business engaged with millennials, fluent in digital-based economy, fluent in technology, have high education background, and young age that represents millennials. Nadim Makarim becoming a um, minister of education and culture in Indonesia is a groundbreaking moment for the region's startup ecosystem. As the youngest minister, Nadim then asked for support to millennial for various innovations in the education sector that would later be carried out. Hopes are only dreams without execution. Therefore, Nadim has a lot of homeworks to do as Minister of Education and Culture, including overcoming challenges of being Education Minister in the period. What are the challenges? We can see it through the next graphic. This is the challenges that need to be, uh, you know, um, solved by Nadim Makarim as the Minister. The first one is unequal teaching staffs. Misappropriation of educational funds is still happening, and the um, last one, to theoretical education curriculum. One of the way to make Indonesia education better. Uh, government budgets huge deal of fund for education sector. The government hopes this education budget can build the basic abilities of Indonesian children, ranging from early childhood education to basic education, and especially in the ability of literacy, mathematics, and science. We may be curious how much actually the budget of education as year goes by. Therefore, we can check uh, through the next graphic. This is Indonesia's education budget. In 2015, the budget allocated for the ministry um, reaching 390.1 trillion rupiah, but the number decreased in 2016 to uh, 370.4. Uh, increased again in 2017 to 419.8 and uh, from then to 2019 the uh, budget that was you know allocated for the uh, ministry keeps increasing from 419.8 uh, in 2017 to 505.8 trillion rupiah in 2019 the speech of the Indonesian president concerning the financial memorandum of state budget for the 2020 budget year said it that the education budget in 20 20 will be uh, around 505.8 trillion rupiah. This figure only increased 2.7% from the previous year, which amounted to uh, 492.5 trillion rupiah. And how about the previous year's growth? Let's check the next graphic. This is um, Indo Indonesia's um, education budget growth. 
Um, as you can see, um, uh, you know, the, the amount of the um, budget growth from 2015 to 2019. As we can see, in 2019, the number was increased 11.3 trillion rupiah from the um, number uh, in 2018. And it was projected in 2020, the budget allocation will grow by or will grow by uh, 2.7 trillion rupiah. This figure only increased 2.7% from the previous year, which amounted to 492.5 trillion rupiah, even though the increase in 2019 reached 11.3%. Uh, although the uh, increase is not as high as before, the education budget location is still maintained at 20% of the total 2020 state expenditure of 2,000 uh, 528.8 trillion rupiah. However, the allocation rose 29.6% compared to the realization of 2015 education budget of 390.3 trillion rupiah. For upcoming years within the new cabinet of 2019 to 2024, state budget for education is in the hand of current government. Therefore, it needs careful and efficient calculation for newly elected ministry, Nadi Makarim, to bring the right path of Indonesia education. There is one very obvious manifestation in great nation. It is seen in education. Therefore, we hope nothing but the best for Nadim Makarim as youngest minister in the cabinet to strive better education for Indonesia. Stay tuned on Market Headlines. We'll be right back after the break.